Hey y'all, it's Tolly and welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title of this video, it is a very exciting video because we are going to see Olivia Rodrigo. So the day I'm filming this intro is actually the day after the concert, so I've already been to the concert and I already experienced it all and let me just say it was amazing. It was one of the best concerts ever and I am just really grateful and really happy that I was able to go and that I was able to see because I, that was my number one fear was that I'm not be able to see because you guys know I am very short and um it was just a, an amazing night. So in today's video I'm going to take you guys with me getting ready. I'm going to show you guys my makeup, my outfit, my hair, all that good stuff I, and I take you guys to the Sour Tour bus which is the merch bus that you can buy her merch from before the concert and then also they had like some photo ops that I show you guys too. So I know this video is already going to be super long, so for the tour clips I decided not to include them in the video, but I'm actually going to post them on my Instagram story, so if you do not follow me on Instagram, make sure to go go do so. It will be down in the screen below, here on the screen, and make sure to go there because I'm going to post all my tour videos on there and I post a lot of stuff. Each concert I go to I actually do make its own highlights, so there's other concerts I've been on there that have its own highlights, so you can see those all. I've seen Ari, I've seen Marina. Seen Dua, I've seen a whole different bunch of people. So if you guys love concerts like me, definitely go check that out. I really did want to include it in this video. It's just the video is going to be so long already, and I know my stories are even going to be longer when I post the clips. So I just figured it might be easier to do it that way. Again, if you want to see all my clips of Miss Olivia Rodrigo from the Sour Tour, make sure to follow me on my Instagram at Tali Ruta here in the screen down the description below. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Tali Ruta, and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to like, comment and subscribe because we are so close to 300 subscribers and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out when I post. Incorporating shorts to my YouTube channel so make sure to go check those out if you haven't already. And if you haven't already make sure to follow me on all social medias here in the screen down in the description below. Without further ado let's get into this Olivia Rodrigo Sour Tour vlog. Alright guys I cannot believe it today is the day I'm going to be seeing THE Olivia Rodrigo. I am literally so shocked that I got tickets and it, it is just like a blessing and a miracle that I was able able to get tickets and that I'm going and I'm just super grateful and blessed and I just I I'm still in shock till the to the day of. I absolutely loved her. I've loved her since High School Musical the Musical Series, since Bizarre Advart. I've watched her for that long and I absolutely love her music. I think she's just so special and so talented. She's also Filipino, so I love her a little bit extra. <laughs> But anyways guys, let's go get ready for this Olivia Rodrigo concert. Alright guys, we are at my vanity and um, I'm just going to put my hair up so I can do my makeup. I always do my makeup first, but um, I had four of these clips and one of them broke. But anyways, that's besides the fact. Um, so yeah, so I already have my outfit picked out. Um, I will show you guys, of course, it later in the video, but um, I'll give you a little sneak peek of it. There it is over there. And as you guys know, the Sour Tour and Olivia and everything, lots of it is purple. So I'm going to do my eyes purple and obviously it matches my look and yeah all right so i'm not like the best beauty guru but i can do my makeup ish <laughs> that's on a good day but um so what i'm gonna the palette i'm gonna use to create my olivia rodrigo concert look is the disney x morphe mickey and friends be truth be bold palette and so i'm going to use these purples here so i'm gonna so there's awe goody which is like this dark purple which i'm gonna use to fling out my wing and then I'm going to use Audacious which is this lighter purple which I'm going to use to blend and then I'm probably going to use this silver shimmer shade here staring contest for my lid. Alright guys, here is the eye makeup look. Again, like I said, I am not a makeup artist or a beauty guru, but I think it turned out pretty good. I like it. I like exactly how it looks, exactly how I wanted it. You know, purple, a little bit of shimmer, and a little bit messy because, you know, I wanted to be like messy. Mm -mm. Okay, anyways, forget I said that. <laughs> but um, yeah, now I'm going to finish the rest of my look. So I'm going to add my eyelashes, my wing, and then I'm just going to do my face. So my foundation, concealer, all that good stuff. And yeah. Sorry guys, I had got interrupted while I was in the middle of baking and 
doing like my face makeup, but here it is. So page match, I just baked, I did my contour, my blush, and I wanted to do the highlighter with you guys. Also, I just wanna say, I'm sorry that like the lighting, like where I do my makeup is not the best. That's why I have this big Hello Kitty light, but it kind of makes the video look a little bit weird. So I'm sorry for that, but hope you can pretty much see what I did. Um, again, not a beauty guru, just just normal makeup gal. But um, so I thought since, you know, everything is purple and for the occasion, I thought it would be perfect to use this. This is not mine, this is my brother's, um, but it is the Rem Beauty um, Miss Neptune purple highlighter. I thought that was like perfect because you know, today's everything is purple today. So I decided I'll do that with you guys. Um, I actually have the green one, the Mama Earth one, but you know, today's about purple. So we're gonna go purple. It's, I've used the green one before. It's super pretty, very green though. That's why I don't want to put it on. Um, I do love it though. This one I can already see. Again, it's not since, you know, I don't have the best lighting here where I do my makeup. Um, it's not showing that well on camera, but it will show in better light, which I will show you guys later. Now all that's left is to spray my face and then I'm going to put lip gloss or lipstick on later and then we're gonna move on to my hair. All right guys, we are now in my bathroom, which obviously has better light. You can see that highlighter is popping. It looks so good. I love that purple highlighter that Ariana did. So cute. Anyways, um, so I'm in my bathroom now and I'm gonna do my hair. So a lot of times when I go to concerts, I like to take inspiration like from their style and then kind of like add it into my style, but still keeping it to myself. So. Since Olivia's concert um, does not even start until a long, long time later, me and my brother are gonna go to the Sour Bus and we're also gonna wait outside you know, you know, in line for the concert. So I want something to keep my hair up because it is very, very hot outside. But, so, <laughs> leads me on to my next point. Gosh, that was a lot of words. I'm going to do two pigtails and kind of like bubbles. Um, I saw Olivia kind of do um, a hairstyle like this, so I'm gonna try to replicate it. I've done it before, I, hopefully I can do it again, and yeah. All right guys, here's my hair in the two pigtails. Now it actually looks really cute, but as you can tell, it is definitely going, if I'm going to be standing outside in the heat, it is going to blow up in my face. So what I'm going to do to kind of tame that is I'm going to make little kind of like bubbles in the ponytails. I'm just gonna be using these little um, hair ties, like these little just rubber bands. I got them at, whoop, I just threw one. I just got them at the dollar store. And I'm just going to be using that to kind of create those little bubbles. All right guys, so as you can see, this is one of them. So I hope you saw the process. I literally was just taking the little tiny elastics and just kind of creating this like bubble look, which I think will really help with the humidity and it's not heavy at all. It feels very light, but I'm gonna do the other one off camera and I'll show you guys the completed hair look. All right guys, here are the bubble little ponytails complete. I think they look so cute and they feel so light. I love it. It took like all my hair, my, you saw how big my hair was before and now it looks all condensed and clean, but we're not done just yet. Thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some ribbon to my hair. This ribbon is very thin, so it might not do a lot, but it doesn't need anything really. I kind of just want to add this because it makes it a little more playful, makes it a little more fun, and it makes it a little more me. So I'm going to try to add some, some, it's lilac. It's a very, very light um, ribbon, and I'm going to put them in my hair. All right, guys, here is the bow in my hair. Obviously it's not cut yet or fixed, but this is just kind of what it looks like. Um. I think it's kind of cute. You can't really see it. I probably needed thicker ribbon, but I mean, it's cute. We'll see if I keep it. All right, guys, here is complete makeup and hair. So I did add, sorry, I'm super short, but I did add the bows. Um, they're not super noticeable, but I think it's okay. I mean, honestly, these already are enough as it is, but I like the little bows. They make it a little more tally. But, um, uh, you know, I do love my Olivia Rodrigo shirt, but I just realized how am I going to get it off um, because I need to get it through this and through my face. So we're going to see how we're going to do that. But now I'm going to put on my full outfit. All right, guys, here it is, the complete look. And before y'all say anything, yes, I know that this is not usually what I wear at all. 
but I still think it's kind of me with a little bit of punk. I guess you could say like a Love Shack fancy punk girl. I don't even know. But anyways, so here's the hair, here's the bows. See, it matches the dress. This is actually a vintage Victoria's Secret. See, see, still me. Um, slip dress that I thrifted. Um, it is really, really pretty. It is this just beautiful lilac. And I like that it's like actually like a dress. This one like is like to my knees and it has that extra little ruffles. And you know, I love my ruffles. I love my lace. So I think it's still pretty me. And um, when I saw it, I was like, okay, I have to get this for the concert. So I got this and then underneath it, I put just some black fishnet tights. And then yes, I own a pair of Doc Martens. Um, the reason I actually have these is because my brother who is going to the concert with me, Tristan, you've seen it on my channel a few times before, um, he loves Docs and I wanted just to get a pair with him so we could ever like twin or whatnot. These are also, <laughs> these gloves are also his, you guys know. My gloves are very different than these, but um, they really just complete the look because I feel like since this is so short, you need something like long on your arms and it complements the fishnets at the bottom. And yeah, yeah this outfit is a teeny weeny bit out of my comfort zone, but you know what? I am going to have fun tonight. I'm going to have a fun day today with me and my brother and Olivia Rodrigo, and I'm just going to live it up. So now that I am all ready, and all dressed up, it is time to wait to go to the concert. Where I am, Olivia's concert does not start till later to the day, but as you guys know, there are many Olivia Rodrigo's fans and many people are lining up to see her, so I'm going to partake in that. But if you guys keep up with Olivia, you guys know she has a sour tour bus where you can buy merch and there's like little photo props and stuff like that, and that is going to be there as well. So I'm gonna go a little bit earlier so I can go do the merch bus and then I can wait in line for the concert. Also, before I go to the concert, I just want to say this concert took a little bit of planning. Um, I'm just going to give you guys some tips if you guys plan to go to the Sour Tour. Um, get there early, um, make sure you bring some water, you know, stay hydrated, eat some food before, um, depending on how long you're waiting. I'm going to be waiting about maybe five, six hours. <laughs> so I know. Um, it is completely your choice. Um, in the end, this is a concert. It should be fun. You should be having the time of your lives. And you know, I think by, by like planning like this day, like, cause you know, I'm trying to go early to the bus and I need to be waiting in the concert line as well. I think it's all getting to my head, but in the end, I am super excited. And I'm just, again, super grateful that I even have tickets to see her and that I'm able to see her. And if you guys are going, just want to give you guys some little advice and you know, just to have fun and live your best night that night. <laughs> so hot. I'm waiting here in the merch line. Oh my god, it's so hot. But anything from this list. Oh my gosh, guys, we're here. All right guys, I've been outside for like six hours. I went to the merch bus, I went to the photo booth, and now it's finally time to go inside. So the line is about to start moving and we're about to get in. So it's about to be Olivia time. Finally, I'm literally so hot. <sighs> it's brutal out here. All right guys, I am back from the concert and I'm literally so pooped, oh my gosh. But I had such an amazing time. It was such an amazing show and it was just amazing, beautiful and felt, it was such an amazing night. But now I'm going to take off my makeup and head to sleep and I'll see you guys the next day and I'll get, just do a little recap and everything, but I am just very tired and need some rest. So, good night, guys. Just wanna say my highlighter held up pretty good. Eyeshadow as well, even bronzer, but my hair, obviously, super frizzy, super crazy, and look like, guys, remember I told you guys I was outside in the sun for like five to six hours? Remember my gloves? I left a freaking mark. Uh, what is it like a sunburn like oh my gosh but yeah guys it is the next morning the day after the olivia rodrigo concert i am still pretty tired like 
I'm not tired, but like my body is tired. Like my feet still really hurt. My hips hurt for some reason. I don't know. But anyways, um, so yes, it is the next day. Um, I woke up kind of late, but I still was productive. I woke up a little bit later, but I did the little school I had. So I did that. And then I actually went on a run on my treadmill. I've been trying to be a little more active because I do kind of just sit around at home all the time. So I've been trying to include that into my weekly schedule. Now it is the day after the concert, so I'm going to give you guys just a little recap of the concert. And um, I'm going to give you guys a merch haul because, you know, I love me some hauls, aka Tolly hauls. And um, yeah, something I love about concerts is like always wearing like the merch after. I just think that's like so fun and like I love that. So I just want to give you guys like a little recap and like I want to give you guys like just uh, like the experience I had at the concert. So when I got there, like I said, I got I went there a little bit before aka like four, five hours before. Um, everything went smoothly that the plan I had. Um, I got to go to the bus. I got to do the photo shoot, the little photo ops and everything. So all that worked really well um the doors were supposed to open at um a little bit before we got in they they had opened the doors and we were still outside so the doors were already open and we the line was still moving to get in but me and my brother had like not gotten in yet so we were outside for like an extra hour <laughs> at least it took us like about an hour to get in but um as soon as we got in we went to our seats now we didn't have seats we were in a little standing area but it wasn't general admission um something about me is that i am not a general admission person i just don't do well <laughs> with pits and stuff like that i like to go to concerts with seats most of the time of course olivia's this concert didn't have seats available um where for us they had seats but the tickets they didn't have um two seats together but Anyways, I'm just not a general admission person because I'm very small, I am very little, and I probably would not make it in a pit. <laughs> but anyways, where I was was actually just this little standing section, and it was just me and my brother and some other people and some people behind me, and it wasn't that bad at all, and I really did like that. I actually had never been to the venue before where she was at, so I kind of didn't know how to play my cards, but it all, in the end, worked out well. Up there, we kind of were just like, actually like, just kind of relieved for once like we actually like made it like you know it actually was gonna happen like it felt kind of just surreal because we had been talking me and my brother had been like joking and like talking about like this concert for so long and like now we actually were here and we're just kind of we just kind of like took a minute to like soak it all in and we actually got to sit down for a little bit um there wasn't the concert wasn't gonna start for a while so i actually was just sitting and i needed that because my feet were about to bust and then of course the concert started and it was amazing um i absolutely was in love it was such an amazing fun concert and i just had a great time and it is a concert i will never forget overall the experience of me standing outside in the heat feeling dehydrated um waiting for the merch all that standing in the sun was not fun but if i had to do it again i would Although concerts are supposed to be fun and everything, I did need to plan this one a little bit differently than my usual concerts, and in the end, everything worked out, and I still had a great time, and I'd do it all over again if I had to. Of course, I cannot end this sour tour vlog without doing a hashtag Tolly Haul. You guys know me. I love shopping. I love my Tolly Hauls, and I haven't done a Tolly Haul in a minute, so let's do one, but Sour Tour Olivia Rodrigo edition. So all this merch I bought from the Sour Tour bus before the show started. You could actually buy the merch also inside the venue, but I really didn't want to like spend my time buying the merch inside because I wanted to get it all out the way and so I didn't have to worry about carrying it or anything. And I wanted to get to my seat as fast as I could. So anyways, the first thing I bought was the Olivia Rodrigo Sour Tour, um, just like white t-shirt it's her and it has the pink butterflies you could tell i probably wanted this one because it's pink but um i love it um this one i think is super cute and this one probably was my personal favorite um shirt out of the options they had the thing i got were the olivia rodrigo sour tour socks i just got the light purple because i thought they'd be really cute for the summer and for my outfits and they just say sour at the top um, the rest of the stuff I'm actually going to show you guys is not mine. It's actually my brother's. This is what my brother brought from the Star Tour bus, but I figured I'd still share with you guys. The shirt he picked out was this black Olivia Rodrigo shirt. It just is the silhouette of her face from the Sour 
um, album cover and then on the back it says Rodrigo. Also got the other pair of socks. He got the black version. He also got the purple Olivia Rodrigo Sour Tour cassette. He got the Sour Tour tote. It says Sour Tour on the front and on the back it says it's brutal out here. This thing he got was the Sour Tour poster. Absolutely love these pictures of her. I love all the colors as well. And then at the bottom here it just has all the dates. All right, now the last thing he got, which I think is super duper cool, is this Dickies, like the Dickies, like the Dickie, like jean brand, um, Olivia Rodrigo jacket. Like, oh my gosh, like how cool and like how unique is this piece? So on the front here, it has this butterfly that says Olivia. And then on this sleeve over here, it says 22 because it's the year 22. And then everything is just perfect the back has this beautiful embroidered sour tour lilac writing on the back i think this is a really cool piece and it's really good quality and it was worth it because you guys know i love my little freebies and little mem mementos me and my brother each got one of the sour tour little photo strips from the photo booth and because where i was i was not in the general mission i was in like um a different section and it was like a smaller little standing area um when the confetti fell i was not near it at all so i had to literally fight for some of these but i got just a little bit of confetti just to satisfy my little olivia heart and um i got one of the butterflies that says i hope you're okay and then the other butterfly that says thanks for coming to the sour tour so that was my sour tour haul yes i know it was quite a few pieces but um, it was definitely worth it to me. And um, comment down below what your guys' favorite Olivia Rodrigo merch is or if it is something I got in the video or if it's something else. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me get ready. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of the bit of the concert. I hope you enjoyed all the merch and everything. And yeah, if you haven't already, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we are so close to 300 subscribers and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out when I post. Again, I've also been incorporating shorts to my YouTube channel, so make sure to go check those out if you haven't already. And if you haven't already, make sure to follow me on all social medias here in the screen, down in the description below. And again, before you click off this video, make sure to follow me on all social medias, again, on my Instagram because that's where I'm posting all my clips from the Sour Tour. Um, again, I think it's just easier and this video already is so long as you can see so make sure to go follow me on instagram it, again here on the screen down the description below at tali ruta and also on my instagram i have other highlights of other concerts i've been to so you can check those out as well i love you guys so much and i hope you have a beautiful wonderful amazing fantastic magical day